There's a lot to love about this car. This is a 2023 Jaguar I-Pace HSC. It's absolutely stunning. It's beautiful. And being an EV, you can't hear a thing. There are so many different settings on this car, it's hard to know where to start from. Now, with regenerative braking, I like it, but I don't like it. Essentially what it means is as you're driving, when you take your foot off the gas, it will automatically brake. You can literally feel the car pulling you back, which is absolutely fantastic from a safety perspective. But really, do you want the car to be pulling you back when you're driving? Not really, especially not when you're driving a Jaguar. That being said, in the city environment, when you are around traffic, that's absolutely fantastic. It stops you from slipping up where ordinarily you take your eye off the ball for even a split second, you ping the car. You certainly do not want to be pinging this car. And I'm very sure Melbourne City Jaguar want me to bring this car back as pristine as it is right now. So let's get going, shall we? To move off in this car, it's so simple. You've got three, well, four options. You've got drive, you've got neutral, you've got reverse, and you've got park. That's it. Something I just want to show you before we go is if you had kids sitting in the back or people in the back or shopping in the back or luggage in the back and you couldn't see what was going on, you have this little function here where you click the switch and a camera that's actually positioned on the roof of the car facing the rear activates. So you can see exactly what's going on behind you which is absolutely awesome. All you can hear whilst you're driving this vehicle is the road. There's a beautiful little whirring sound coming from the car, which I actually quite like. EVs are a bit freaky, you know, there's no, there's no engine, there's no you know, aggressive roar from the, uh, from the car when you hit the accelerator, it's just silence. So to have this little whir is actually quite nice. It's an absolute dream to drive. I mean, really, its positioning, its seat positioning is fully adjustable, so you can change the height, you can change how far, you know, you sit back into your seat. It actually does feel like you're driving a car, not just an EV, which is interesting. A lot of the EVs I've driven don't really feel like you're driving a proper car. They do feel a little bit toyish, and uh, don't get me wrong, it's very smooth, it's beautiful, it's the future but this does actually have a feel, a feel within it that you are actually behind, this, behind the wheel of an actual sports car or a car that has got a bit of oomph. What's amazing about the regenerative braking is we approach some traffic lights, rather than having to put your foot on the gas, on the brake, all you need to, literally need to do is take your foot off the gas and the car will just brake for you. Look, has it got lots of legroom? It's got enough. I'm around 5'11", and um, my seating position, or well, this seat is currently in the position that I'd be driving in. So, as an adult sitting in the back of this car, look, I've got enough space. I mean, would I want more space? Of course. Am I comfortable? Absolutely. I mean, these seats are so beautiful and soft and so comfortable, it's impossible to be upset when you're sitting in the back seat of this particular Jaguar. You've got everything you'd need as a passenger. And if you want to charge up your, uh, your devices, you do have a USB connectivity here, as well as the old school cigarette lighter. A little section here too, it's just maybe for your keys. And you also have heated rear seats, which is absolutely fantastic. So if it is cold, check your seats on, and uh, you're instantly warmed up. Panoramic windows are absolutely fantastic here as a passenger. 
So when you are sitting back, it's absolutely stunning. It's beautiful. It really is one of those sort of cars you can just sit back and just enjoy uh, the view. So in terms of servicing, this car has five years unlimited kilometre warranty. That's also five years of servicing provided by Melbourne City Jaguar. So this car does come with a range of different extras, electronic air suspension, tailgate spoiler, 22 inch style wheels, a fixed panoramic roof, adaptive dynamics. The car has a phenomenal display, 10 inch display, and it has Jaguar Land Rover's new Pivi Pro operating system, which allows integration with a variety of different media and phones, including Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, digital radio, native navigation, and Amazon Alexa integration. The car has 16-way memory seats up front with cooling and heating. These are the memory controls here, which means you can preset your perfect driving position and lock it in, which means up to three different drivers can have their ideal driving position. In terms of a sound system, this car does not disappoint. It has Meridian 16 speaker sound system, which bangs out some serious volume and high quality audio. The boot has 656 litres, which is plenty of space, and you can drop down the rear seats if you need more. Its range is 446 kilometres, with acceleration of 0 to 100 in 4.8 seconds. That is absolutely phenomenal. It has a 90 kilowatt hour battery pack. This car uses approximately 23 kilowatt hours of battery every 100 kilometers, which is pretty good. In terms of charging, at 11 kilowatt hours, which is your standard home charger, we're talking about nine hours. At 50 kilowatt hours, two hours charging time. And at 100 kilowatt hours, which is a fast charger, which you'd find in a public environment, only 48 minutes. That gets you from about 0% to 80%, which is pretty good. So it gives you time to go for a cup of tea, or go for a spot lunch and get your car charged up. This car's performance is phenomenal. 294 kilowatt hours, delivering 696 newton meters of torque. That is very, very powerful, especially for an SUV. In terms of safety, this car has it all. Six airbags, which are on the front, the side, for both passenger and driver, as well as a standard curtain airbag. This car has autonomous emergency braking, blind spot monitoring, tire pressure monitoring, traffic sign recognition with adaptive speed limiter, adaptive cruise control, driver condition monitor, lane keep assist, rear collision monitor, and rear traffic monitoring. I mean, it's got every single thing you could possibly want to keep you safe and in your own lane. 